I will never forget who this victory truly belongs to. It belongs to you. It belongs to you. I was never the likeliest candidate for this office. We didn't start with much money or many endorsements. Our campaign was not hatched in the halls of Washington. It began in the backyards of Des Moines, in the living rooms of Concord, and the front porches of Charleston. It grew strength from the young people who rejected the myth of their generation's apathy. It drew strength from the not-so-young people who braved the bitter cold and scorching heat to knock on doors of perfect strangers. You did it because you understand the enormity of the task that lies ahead. This victory alone is not the change we seek. It is only the chance for us to make that change. And that cannot happen if we go back to the way things were. It can't happen without you, without a new spirit of service, a new spirit of sacrifice. For even as we celebrate tonight, we know the challenges that tomorrow will bring are the greatest of our lifetime. There's new jobs to be created, new schools to build, and threats to meet, alliances to repair. The road ahead will be long, a climb will be steep. We may not get there in one year or even in one term, but America, I have never been more hopeful than I am tonight that we will get there. I promise you, we as a people will get there. America, we have come so far. We have seen so much, but there's so much more to do.